We all love theropods. You wouldn't be watching this video if you didn't. But there are so many lists of theropods or megatheropods out there that it can seem repetitive. This video looks to freshen things up a bit by examining the largest theropod for each modern continent. North America, big surprise, has T-Rex. The most recent calculations by Frenoy, Hartman, and Snively et al. place larger specimens between 8,000 and 9,000 kilograms, and between 11.8 and 12.3 meters long. T-Rex is actually the largest theropod, period, since size is determined by mass. South America is a closer race. Mapusaurus rosae and Gigantosaurus carolini are both enormous carcodontosaurids that sailed past 6,000 kilograms. According to graphic double integration, Mapusaurus barely squeaks past its cousin. The margin of error is significant enough, however, that it's honestly too close to call for this continent. What about Europe, the continent only separated by culture? A study in July 2018 unveiled the footprints of a colossal megalosaurid, which they estimated as comparable in size to Tyrannosaurus. Obviously, it wouldn't be as massive, but at 12 meters it was far larger than any other theropod discovered in the region. The specimen is too indeterminate to be assigned an ichnogenus, so I had nicknamed it Glarungapus. Africa fields the titanic Carcharodontosaurus, but it isn't actually the biggest. That title belongs to Sigilmosasaurus brevicolis, which at around 7 tons and 50 meters is by far the longest theropod known to paleontology. It's about twice the mass of its close relative Spinosaurus, according to Ardenatol 2018 and subsequent mass estimates. As far as Asia goes, its biggest theropod is either Tyrannosaur or an Ornithomimosaur or a Therizinosaurid. Zusheng Tyrannus, Therizinosaurus, and Dinochirus all stake a claim for the heavyweight trophy. The latter two both have masses approaching 7 tons, and although Zusheng Tyrannus holotype only weighed 6 tons, another vertebra at the site may have belonged to a much larger individual. Bit close to coal, what? I'll give you a hint, the most massive theropod from Antarctica is not a penguin. Elvis Presley is a closer guess. Cryolophosaurus is the winner here due to how terrible the preservation rate is in an icy wasteland. And now for the land where everything wants to kill you, and almost nothing wants to be fossilized. Only a handful of theropods have been discovered in Australia to begin with. Just an issue for continents higher up in the alphabet, I suppose. Australovenator, or Australian hunter, is then the king of the great southern land. It's comparable to Cryolophosaurus in size, but undoubtedly had a better accent. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and join the Ultimate Battles Discord server for more paleontology content. Vividen out.